In other news, we had Liz Cheney attacking Carrie Lake. That was part one. In part two, we have Salesforce CEO attacking red states and threatening to leave because of pro-life. What a prince. I'm Jasper Gonzo, and this is What's Next. Hey, what's up, everyone? Jasper Gonzo here. Another episode of What's Next, your daily dose. Hope you guys are doing good today on this Tuesday. Well, wow. Speaking of ass clowns, uh, you have one who is a Salesforce CEO, and he threatens red states to pull his business because he's butthurt over babies. Yeah. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Salesforce CEO Mark Benenoff threatens to exit Republican led states if they pass pro life legislation. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting scared now. Ooh, does he look like a butt? Salesforce CEO Mark Benenoff threatening to pull his software company's operations out of red states if their policies do not align with his liberal ass clown point of view or ass backward, however you want to work it, specifically in regards to abortion. Appearing on CNN's newsroom with Poppy Harlow, which, of course, nobody knows and nobody cares. But I'll said, if you're not for equality and dignity and diversity and inclusion, this is something that I cannot work with. And then we're going to have to exit your city and state and, and get the hell out of Dodge. Tom Elliott tweets, Uber douche. Salesforce CEO Benenoff vows to leave Republican led states. If you're not for equality and dignity, then we're going to have to exit your city and your state. But um, we'll hear a little bit uh, later on. Before making his threat, uh, the billionaire mentioned that he's dealing with a series of crazy presidents, governors, mayors all over the world. Really? Didn't know you were talking to heads of state now. Okay. When Outlaw Press bent it off, he thought it was crazy. He didn't mention a sick current situation, but referenced to Indiana's Ref uh, Religious Restoration Act in 2015. After then, Governor Mike Pence signed the legislation. The billionaire tech CEO announced plans to cancel programs that would require customers to employees to travel to the Hoosier state. He followed up on a threat by promising relocation packages to employees in Indiana who wish to move. Pence and other Republican legislators ultimately caved. Of course, they bent over, took the knee, took it up the arse without KY, and woke corporations' demands by passing a revised amendment that effectively nullified and killed the original piece of legislation passed. Harlow then asked Benenoff if he was considering enacting similar measures against the Republican-led states who have or are planning to pass pro-life legislation in the wake of Supreme Court's decision and burning row in which Salesforce CEO indicated that he'd be willing to make similar threats to current Republican states as he did to Indiana seven years ago. Well, there's one state in particular in mind, and uh, yeah, you get my thoughts on that. We have to be for equality. We have to be for dignity, for diversity, for inclusion. Benenoff said before threatening to pull his San Francisco-based company from conducting business in conservative states with pro-life legislation. Benenoff then had previously stated he's willing to pull employees from states with policies that limit the number of unborn babies being aborted. The number of baby killings. Nice. In 21, Benenoff told Texas employees that Salesforce would repay for moving expenses for those who wish to flee following the state's passing of the Texas Heartbeat Act, Breitbart News reported. Well, of course, as we all know, Texas passed the Heartbeat Act, and um, all we heard was chirps, chirps, chirps from Benenoff. Following the leak of Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe in May, the CEO again told employees that he would cover expenses for those wanting to move from a pro-life state. Now, let's hear from a um, little crybaby himself. This is not our first conversation about what is a CEO's role in political issues. What do we do when it comes to actually making something happen that supports our employees? The number one thing is we must have our employees back. You know and I know we are dealing with a whole series of crazy presidents, crazy governors, crazy mayors all over the world, in every country, in every city, in every state. Mm, yes. The number one thing I can do is let my employees know I'm here for them and I will 100% support them. And if they're not happy where they are, you're right. We all know Our where the crazy, crazy governor is. I'm really talking about all of the situations that I've had whoa, to go through whoa, 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 wait, over wait, the last wait, wait, decade, wait, wait, especially. I, I, I really don't have anybody Our current employees will contact me and say something just is not right. You know the story, for example, in Indiana. 
you know, we're the largest tech employer in Indiana. And I was going right. to bring up Indiana. That's because not, Mark, no. for people who don't know, in 2020. Eh, no one really cares. My faults. Another crazy ass clown, leftist Benoff, who basically thinks I'm a billionaire. I can pretty much do what I want. Well, let's make it very clear. Salesforce is not Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, Sony, Microsoft, Apple. Yes, his software company employs several hundred people, I'm sure, across different states. But for him to put out the petty threat, he got away with it in 2015 because, of course, Pence had no balls, just like Vice President Pence still has no balls. But it's 2022. It's a different story. And when I mention a certain state, that state would be Florida. I would love to see that meeting between Benoff and Macho Man Ron DeSavage as the savage comes off the off the top rope with an elbow dead in his chest and basically tells him to get the f lost because that's exactly what DeSantis would do. DeSantis would basically say, I don't give two fucks. You want to pull people out of my state because you're butthurt? Because you can't continue the, the baby killing? Peace out. Deuces. Don't let the door hit you on the ass in a way out. That's it. That's it. But um, this has been been an off's uh, mantra, you know. Let me cry. <laughs> and then eventually, cities, uh, you know, bend over. But um, he only did it one time, and that was Indiana. He threatened Texas, and Texas basically told him to, you know, kick rocks and pound sand. So there you go. But uh, yeah, another ass clown um, who thinks because I'm a leftist and I can throw my money around, I get what I want. Well, not today, Satan. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bargonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.